this is my kit inventory that uh, you've probably seen last year, my rescue kits. Yeah, this is how everything fits. And I did all of these last winter for the different hardware, which is so handy this summer when I was making stuff out in the garage and I knew I needed like buttonhead M3 screws. I just took this out or big screws and anchors. I just took this out. It was just awesome. And I did this MOSFET one the other day, which doesn't have many in it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty cool. We're getting organized. I love it. Well, the two trees is back on the bench today. I actually dropped it and ripped the whole back end out. It fell out of the shelf I had it on in the garage. So I took the time to make it better than new. Uh, there was always a little bit of rubbing on these axles and I've fixed that. But I figured tonight, let's put this uh, touch screen into some kind of case. So I went on Thingiverse and sure enough, there's Dozens and dozens of them. Uh, it took me two minutes to find one, and it's coming off, and it'll be done in about 12 hours. So uh, if you haven't got a 3D printer yet, you really should. There is so much out there available that you don't have to design anything. Like, I thought this was kind of an obscure touchscreen. Turns out it is totally not, but there are do a, a few different versions of it, and there's so many already made, people have already done the work, so I just grabbed one up and we should be good to go, hopefully. I might have to adapt the mount. I think it was supposed to go in the extrusion on the top, so I might have to do some work there. That's it. Check out the quality of the i3 does. Can I get it off? Yeah. Look at that. Wow, this this printer. I am really happy with this printer. Crisp and sharp. Very cool. Oh, triple cool. Check this out. So now we should be able to have our touch screen somehow like so is it's supposed to be like this. So I might drill and tap the top, actually. Yeah, I think I actually might. That'd be the easiest to just drill and tap that and mount that like so. And with any luck, this touch screen will be a perfect fit. It sure looks like it will be. Very cool. Okay, a little bit of support material that I probably didn't need to use. Probably didn't need that at all, but oh well, better to have and not need. Oh boy. Thought that was gonna be bad coming off, but it's actually just fine. The interface isn't bad. Oh yeah, it isn't bad at all. Could be just a touch looser, but yeah, not by much. Same under here.
Not bad. A heavy duty case. That it wasn't a done design, now was this? You say, hey, when people do that, if you're gonna post a design of a box, maybe you should make sure the box fits together. No other way. Yeah, I can still use it. I can make it work. One of my other tasks today is I'm working at trying to clean the scan tool up that I got. I'm hoping I can upgrade the firmware just slightly so that I can cover both of my vehicles. Um, this covers my CRV, but my uh, my truck is a 2013. It's 2013. Yeah, 2013 F-150, and uh, this doesn't cover that new so. If you know whether I can still upgrade the firmware, let me know. Otherwise, I gotta get a hold of Mac or OTC or whoever it is now. See whether I can just buy a medium size, like a, an older update. But that's, if you wanna know how to save yourself some money in this world, uh, get a trade. <laughs> They're a handy thing to have, especially in the automotive trade. And then get out <laughs> once you've, uh, established your knowledge base and move on to another trade would be my advice. That's what I did. But the skills stick with you. And then you can pick up, like this was, what did I pay, $140 for it, I think, um, from the local mechanic who was selling out, who sold out his business. And uh, that's that's a steal of a deal for a Mac scan tool. That's crazy. But you can find deals like that. And then you can repair your own vehicles. You can, like this thing looked like hell and now, uh, no, it's a little less like hell. And when I'm done with it, what we'll do is we'll change the battery. The battery is hosed in it. Uh, he mentioned that to me and that's unsurprising. Uh, but I'm sure we can make a pack for it. We don't need to buy, again, we don't need to buy an expensive Mac Tools pack because that will, that will be one item that isn't warrantied, I'm sure. But uh, then we can service our vehicles or at least, even if you can't service the vehicle, you can have a decent idea of what's wrong. Don't sling parts at them by reading codes, but uh, get a scan tool or get a code reader and read the codes, that, even if you're not gonna fix them. And then when you go to the dealer or go to the shop, you, you have a clue. You still have to pay them to scan it. That's the fact of life. Uh, they gotta recoup their costs on the scan equipment too. But uh, then you at least have a pretty good idea what's going on and you can ask educated questions. Don't be a dick about it, but ask some educated questions. Say, hey, is that related to the, whatever, the O2 sensor code that was active when they tell you it's a fuel injector issue and they go, oh yeah, 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 it's, a, it's, it's related and here's how it is. And when the injector was bad and running lean, it's giving us an O2 stuck lean condition or whatever. And, like things can, be explained and you can ask educated questions and save yourself some money. Or you can just outright fix your car. And uh, that'd be cool too, right?
There we go. There's our pack. Looks like we got eight sub C. No, those aren't sub C's. I don't know what those are. We'll have to pop that apart and see what they are. Uh, oddball size. But it shows nickel metal hydride, and I'm sure we can. Yeah, I'm sure we can make that with some 18650s. Lots of room in there. Should be fine. Yeah, forget that mess. We got a little different one of the thingiverse. That one is going to work just fine. It doesn't mount, so what we'll do is we'll mount the board in it and then we'll just stick it to the front with uh, we'll just double sided tape it right here. And uh, that'll be that. She'll be. Mm, or maybe here. That'd be a better spot. Yeah, I might do that. Cool. Easy.